everyone welcome back to the channel this is your austin realtor david mercedes coming to you from the colony master plan community here in the city of bastrop and we're touring this perry model home not model home inventory home it is the 2188 w floor plan and it features four bedrooms three bathrooms phenomenal primary tall ceilings and a two-car garage this home just had a great price improvement from 503 down to 424 we're going to talk a little bit more about pricing a little bit later in the video so be sure to stick around for that so right here at the front of the house we have bricks brick and limestone siding here at the front I see that we have full gutters as well, access to your two car garage, and you have one, two, three, four, five, six steps going up into the entrance. We have beautiful landscape. And this is the actual home for sale. So I'm gonna give you a quick 360 of the area. I believe this is one of the two homes still for sale on this street. Everything else has sold. So without further ado, let's head out inside because I'm getting a mean tan right now. Okay, as, as always with Perry Homes, you have a beautiful front door with the glass insert. You'll find a outlet right in there, the ring camera and the keypad access. Oh boy, it's hot outside. Okay, let's head inside. You have. A bedroom and a bathroom here to the left. Laundry room will be to the right. But here is where we're gonna get started, right here in the great room. I'm gonna give you a quick 360. I meant it when I said quick. And now we're gonna go. And start the tour right here in the heart of the home, the kitchen. You have a large island, beautiful counters, built-in seating, and enough seating for four, four to five people easily. We have tile flooring throughout this space, throughout the great room area. Right here you have space for your fridge, GE oven, and GE microwave now you'll find this corner pantry space right in here and then here as you can see it is a working island the ge dishwasher you have this double undermounted stainless steel sink and the delta faucet now you'll find plenty of room between the island and the counter space on the other side. Lots of cabinet space, beautiful tile work in the backsplash, and we, you'll find granite countertops in here. Are these soft closing? No, but they're quite smooth though, so I'm not mad about that. We have the basic GE 4 burner stovetop. Uh, yeah. And then something that I forgot to mention here in the island is that you do have the pull out trash right in there. Now, on the other side, just past the kitchen, here is where your dining space would be. They, ideally you'll frame the dining table right under those two lights and in front of that window. Now moving along a little bit further back, this is where the living room area will go. You have four windows in that wall and then three windows total on this other side. Tall ceilings, recess lighting, forgot to turn those on, but trust me, they work. Lots of natural light here in the space, as well as having access to your covered patio right through there. So quite the, the spacious great room. 
primary is right down that way, but we're gonna go here in the backyard first. I'm gonna check out the covered patio. So this home is built on a 45 foot lot. Okay. And we're going to quickly take a look here at the back of the house. No gutters here in the back, nor gutters here on the side. So that is something to keep in mind, as it is always a great idea to have gutters. Brick siding on all four sides. Great side cover patio, just a single outlet right in there and the gas line over there. Now down this way, this is the little hallway into the primary. There is a light in there as well as a display area for your family photos or whatever else you wanna put in there. Into the primary we go. Tall ceilings, carpet flooring, three large windows <clears throat> overlooking the, the backyard. Plenty of outlets and then through the double doors you have access to the primary bathroom. Tile flooring here in the bathroom, dual vanities, Two large windows on that side. It is, oh, plus another one over there in the walk-in shower. Now, this is the larger of the two vanities, almost double the size of the other one. So ladies, this one is yours. Right across from that vanity, you will find this large royal garden tub. Right here on this other side, you have the smaller of the two vanities and plenty of cabinet space in there. Now, on this side, right in here, you have access to your walk-in shower. I kind of wish they would have gone with the tile work all the way up to the ceiling. Down this way, access to your walk-in closet and it wraps around this way. So it is a pretty good size closet. Carpet flooring, built-in shelving in there. Now outside the closet, you'll find this linen closet. And then behind the one room, the one room, the one door we have left, you have your ProFlow toilet in the toilet room. Now let's head back to the front of the house. We have a couple, three more bedrooms to see, two bathrooms and some other good stuff. So down this way we go, you'll find the thermostat in there. This is the first one of the three secondary bedrooms, tall ceilings, carpet flooring. There is a Jack and Jill bathroom connecting it to the bedroom right next door. One window and then a good size closet. Now, the most comparable home that sold compared to this one sold for $210 per square foot. Now, after the price drop, the price per square foot of this home is 193. So if you are to buy this home, you will be walking into a little bit of equity. And that is great news. That, that, that is great news. Equity is extra money in your pocket. It also gives you a little bit of a buffer in case home prices are to come down a little bit more. Now, given the latest information that we have from the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, 
we should expect to see to see a drop in interest rates when the Federal Reserve meets next month in September. So the markets are, are anticipating that already. There's a good chance that the interest rates are gonna come down. And that is, in theory, supposed to bring a lot more buyers back into the market. So if you've been waiting for prices to come down, as you can see on this one, prices are down a little bit and interest rates word on the street is that they're gonna come down a little bit more. So if you've been waiting for the right moment to buy a new home, now is the time to just follow the link in the description down below, give me a call or shoot me a text, whatever is easier for you. Now, we tour already the two of the secondary bedrooms. You have the mud room. The two-car garage is right in there. Now, let me just show you where we are at. So right adjacent to the kitchen, you will find the laundry room. Have a good window, tall ceilings, and it's a very spacious laundry room. Wash, uh, washer, dryer, would have loved to see like a built-in something in there, but that can be easily added afterwards. Now back to the front of the house we go and we have one more bedroom to see. This is the bedroom at the front of the house. We have a large single window, carpet flooring, tall ceilings. You'll find a small walk-in, actually no, it's not small. It's a good size walk-in closet right in there. And then we have just one more bed bathroom to go. Tile flooring here in the bathroom, single vanity, granite, Counters, pro, pro flow toilet, and your shower top combo with the window right above. Now, I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you got any value out of this video, consider subscribing. If you're ready to get started with your home search, once again, give me a call, shoot me a text, or follow the link in the description down below. But this brings us to the end of the tour. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.